So our, our project this summer was a population estimate with the green crab. Uh, the green crab are an invasive species in Newfoundland, so it's super interesting to see the populations here. They first came to Newfoundland in 2007, and they've been on the west coast since 2009. They're actually um, native to Europe, so they first came over um, on fishing boats, um, and they're doing really well here, actually too well. And they're really bad for the environment here. Um, they push out other species, such as the rock crab, and they eat other crustaceans, such as clams, mussels, scallops and like baby crustaceans, so like baby lobsters is one thing that people are really worried about. They're becoming really big predators here. So it's important that we keep their population down to make sure that the rest of um, the organisms living in the ocean aren't endangered. Well, we just gotta keep them under control and make sure that we preserve the integrity of the native ecosystem. So our first week at our project, we caught over 2,000 green crab and we tagged them with TFO's help. Afterwards, we set our traps out again and we continue to try and recapture the tagged ones to ultimately get a population estimate of the amount of green crab in the Port Harmon area. And when we take them in, in our trailer, we, we process them, which means that we like sex them, male or female, and we also measure them. So on the female, it's a bell shape underneath the tail. The tail is uh, wider like a lobster and the males are a triangle shape, so they're thinner. And we measure them through their carapace and also their abdomen and then we also weigh them. So it's a great way to see you know, how many male versus female, what are the average size of them, just to get a, a better idea of the population, how they're, how they're growing and living here. I've gained a lot. There's a lot of different things that I didn't know, and now um, I'm pretty like, used to it. It just seems so natural now. Before I came here, I was really unsure about like, the different sex, so like, knowing what a male and female was, and a rock crab versus a green crab. But ever since the project started, like, we just do it every day so continuously that it's it's just like breathing, you pretty much know, when you see a green crab, you know it's a green crab now. We've learned so much during this project. Um, it's super cool to learn how the tides work. Um, every day we go out when the tides are low, and um, we try and stay away from when the tides are too high because it's a bit dangerous. Um, it's also super interesting to learn about the populations of the green crab because the population is so high. So just in this month, July, we've actually caught over 10,000 green crab, which is, um, it's just crazy because there's so many more than that, and um, it's gonna be super interesting to see the population in the end. I've learned a lot on this project, not just about green crab and just other aquatic species and the like, just seeing what you pull up in the traps, because I mean, we get a lot of uh, flounders and mummy chugs, the occasional lobster, we get to see eels once in a while. Our first, actually one of our first days, we pulled an entire pot just full of eels, like the entire thing was full, and it was, I've never seen so many eels in my life. <laughs> My favorite part about working with the green team is just getting outdoors um, and helping, you know, enhance and restore the environment. It's everything I'm super interested in. Uh, this is my second year with the green team, so um, I'm super excited to be back and uh, hopefully I will be again next year. I go to school at CNA doing Fish and Wildlife Technician and we've done a lot of work just being around animals, being outside and all this stuff and I love doing all that. And being able to actually do like a real marker capture project similar to the stuff we've actually learned about in school and being in that kind of work experience, it's just, it's overall just been great. Anyone who is interested in the environment, you know, getting outside and learning, this is definitely the job for you. Um, it's such a great learning experience. I love it. Uh, it's been a really fun summer here and I can't wait to uh, see what the project turns out to be. I've had a really great crew. Overall, this has just been a positive work experience. I mean, I have, my coworkers are great, and everyone on the project is great, and CCNL have great staff, and I'm happy for them to have presented me with me this opportunity to work on a project like this. I definitely recommend Conservation Corps. They're a great organization, and anyone would be lucky to have an opportunity to work with them.